Hello and welcome. On this episode of Abbey Normal Garage, we survived the return of the woods tractor. On the day I told the, my neighbor it was ready to come get, it lost ignition. So, we're going to be replacing the ignition coil and it has a leaky head gasket which we will also change as well. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's get to it. Thanks to Terrell's friends at Pro Parts Direct, we have an ignition coil, a head gasket, and a new exhaust gasket. First, we'll start by removing the hood. Next, we'll remove this uh, cooling air baffle and then we'll take the shroud off. Using power tools this time. Out. Let's take this air cleaner cover off. Oh my god, there we go. Have my doubts there for a second. Now I'll remove the air cleaner because we will have to take the carburetor off to pull the head off. Next, we switch to an 8mm and we pull these shroud bolts out. Just like that. I feel like there's one hiding somewhere. Yep. Right there. Now we remove our shroud. Okay, to remove the head, we're going to have to remove all these baffles, so let's go ahead and take those screws out now. Short ones in this cover. Looks like we'll have to switch back to our 10 millimeter here. to remove the uh, valve cover. I'm going to go ahead and remove the coil real quick. Let's not forget to unplug what's left of the kill wire. It's that easy. Here's the old coil. Okay, it's to start removing the carburetor, we got to undo the squeeze clamp. And we'll pull off our hose. The carburetor is held onto the block by these two 10 millimeter nuts on these studs. We'll start by pulling off the air cleaner cover, exposing a very disgusting carburetor that we are not addressing during this trip. of some sort. Oh yeah. Duh. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to un 
once we remove this breather hose off the valve cover. All right, so we dropped the muffler out. We got the front shrouds off. And look at all this crud on the floor, in the cowling, in there. He did say something about this thing catching on fire a while ago. I could see why. It also appears that the valve cover had been leaking for a while. So we'll fix that as well. Damn, it's on there pretty good. catch all that that oil now believe it or not these Kohlers are actually pretty good engines I mean they're not a Magnum or a K-series but they're pretty good they actually have hydraulic lifters they use small block Chevy lifters which is cool but this is for the exhaust this one is for the intake. Now, that exposes our head bolts. These should be 13 millimeter. They are. so we don't break it. God bless it. Let's try that again. This isn't the worst blown head gasket I've seen, but you can see the two stripes at the bottom where it's been leaking for a while. It's a good thing we're changing it. Stay tuned. Go ahead and clean up our head gasket. Looks like there was thread sealing on the inner, inner bolt, so I'm putting thread seal on them. The old speed wrench. foot pounds so we'll start the center. Man that speedy wrench does a pretty good job. Now we dial our torque wrench up to 30 foot pounds. Pound torque, we're gonna start the center again. We got our push rods in. Let's go ahead and uh, put our rockers back on. I'm just going to put everything on here loosely right now. Just 
dog. We'll go ahead and rotate the flywheel. Make sure everything's working correctly. Beautiful. Spec on the rocker arm studs is 100 inch pounds, so we'll do this in two increments. We'll do it in 50 and 100. Go ahead and dial our ratchet up to 100. Push it until you hear the click. We'll go down to the exhaust valve. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get some RTV on this cover and get the rocker arm cover back on. Alright. We got RTV on the gasket cover. Let's go ahead and plop this thing back on. Now you're only supposed to finger tighten it. You gotta let this stuff sit for an hour before you torque it to final spec. This thing's probably gonna run so much better than it did before. It'll be like a whole new mowing and driving experience for you. I put a little RTV on it in case the gasket's damaged so it don't leak. put this uh, little piece of tin back on. Like so. That goes like that. I had a little screw in that. The side piece of tin. like this. It gets a little screw that goes there and there. Might have been a little bit more than a Zeus. First I'm going to put our solenoid in. I'll come back with a wrench and tighten that up. Then we'll put our Hook our throttle up very carefully, like so. Alright, and then we'll slide our carburetor. Choke's hooked up. Good. We can put our air cleaner housing back on. Don't forget to hook up that wire. Put these two nuts back on. Hook our fuel line back up. Use our lineman's pliers to put our hose back on. Now we got to put our manifold hose back on. Alright, now I'm going to cheat. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of paper. And I'm willing to bet you once I tighten it up, it'll be right. Put our shroud back on. Cool little wire pops up in there like that. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. This slides behind like that. There we go. Torque these down. With our fuel on, let's give it the first test since we did that gasket. That concludes another exciting episode of Abbey Normal Garage. This thing runs way better now that half the compression of the leak out of the So I assume he'll be happy with it. And we'll see you on the next exciting episode of Abbey Normal Garage. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with all your friends. On today's episode of There's Your Lunch, we try fried rice. This is our first attempt. I didn't have any teriyaki sauce, so I figured if I balled up this aluminum foil and boiled this pre-cooked chicken and barbecue sauce, it might be kind of similar. What do you think, Abby? She's like, yeah, it smells good. <laughs>